going on YouTube back here in the greenhouse again for another aquaponic update this time checking out the hot tub aquaponic garden why is it called an hot tub aquaponic I made it out of a hot tub I mean what am I gonna do sit in a hot tub and relax and you know pay a lot of money for an electric bill no I'm gonna pay a fraction of that and put pumps and all kind of crap in there and put fish and grow some plants Anyway, back in here, doing pretty good. We got all kind of stuff. I can step back this way yet again. Get an overview of just how tall these lettuces are. I said lettuces is. I know. Um, but yeah, they're getting pretty tall. You can't grow lettuce around here, I swear. Every time I've ever grown lettuce, you actually can get lettuce for, I don't know, a week or two, and then it bolts every single time. So you gotta have these things going quick. It's going to be an experiment next year, I think. Start growing some lettuce, I don't know, January, something like that. And as soon as there's no frost, which I hope would be about March or maybe February, pop them outside and see if I can actually harvest some lettuce. I mean, these guys, they're starting to, they are bolting. Look at that. Let me see the seed pods. How about this guy? Yep, seed pods right there. This guy's definitely bolting. Look at that, man. Thing is almost touching the roof of the greenhouse. And you might be asking yourself, why are you just letting them go? Why don't you pull these things? Because how do you think I'm going to get free seed for next year? Just let them go. Do their thing, man. Free seed is the best kind of seed. Um, the I guess this is broccoli here. <laughs> Charles asking me, like, how do I know? I have no clue. I just look at the leaves, and it just kind of tells me. Like, it just looks like broccoli to me. That guy right over there just looks like cabbage. I have, I don't know. Maybe I just got an eye for it. I have no clue. But you can tell this is broccoli because look at that little tiny baby head. Aw, it's so cute. But, as you can see, these, hey, as you can see, these guys are ravished with these stupid little caterpillars. Uh, let's see, can I find one? That way I can show you? Of course I didn't come out here and look first. Why would I do that? Oh, uh, you can see some of their poop right there. But, uh, and you can see some of their damage. Hey, look at that. But yeah, these guys, they get ravished every single year. I don't know what's up with my area, but it might be, yeah, it might just be my area. I don't know. But it is so darn near hard. Well, not hard, I guess. I'm not really doing anything. The fish are doing all the work for me. And all I got to do is come out and admire these beautiful little things and go, why are they dying? Um, but these uh, pests are really killing off the plant. I mean, uh, if you watch my next video, I guess, um, the other aquaponic garden... It, everywhere where broccoli was going to grow, it's like they just took it right out. So, I don't know what's going on with that, but, eh, tis life. Look at that little youngling over here. One of its leaves almost completely eaten off right there. Um, but yeah, more lettuce. Uh, I'm rambling. Uh, we've got another baby little guy right over here. Who are you, broccoli? I don't know. Oh, man, I just totally said, I can tell just by looking at them. And now I don't know. But anyway, that's broccoli or cabbage. One of those two. Got a nice little Malabar spinach right over here growing. Seems to be the theme of this garden so far. Uh, Malabar in every bed. It's kind of like, what do they say? Like a car in every garage, a chicken in every pot. Here's another lettuce hanging out over there. That's not going to do because that is leaning on the center post for the greenhouse there. And uh, yeah, it's going to throw seeds all over the floor of the greenhouse and I need them in the bed so I don't know we'll figure that out we'll cross that bridge when we get there hey I said bridge and there's water wacky um ooh, look at that there are some fishes right over there I don't know if this is gonna pop up okay hey there we go we can kind of see them right under that bubble hey little fishes uh, I have no clue how many fish are actually in here what I put in here does anybody remember Throw it in the comments section, because I can't remember. I think it was like a dozen, two dozen? I think it was two dozen. But I haven't seen, as I'm looking now, I haven't seen any floaters, so I guess they're all still in there. I don't know. This bed right over here, I don't know what's up with this rosemary, but it 
kind of has some green growth here, but it kind of looks dead. I don't know. I pulled a lot of rosemary out of here. Probably shouldn't have, because stuff like this. Now it's just starting to come back. Got Malabar. Hey, I told you. Every bed, man. It's starting to pop up. Got more lettuce. Just about to bolt. Um, we got more rosemary right here. Look at that. Pretty rosemary. You do this, you stroke it. <laughs> Pause for laughter. You stroke it a few times and then smell your fingers. Man, smells like a pine tree. Um, another little baby Malabar right on down here, on down yonder. This lettuce right here is so daggone big that it goes two beds over and it's starting to flower. I'm gonna let that happen and do the same thing with this other lettuce that's way over here. Look, it's kind of stressed, kind of like a little goofy angle there. It's all the way over here. I've got it tucked away behind the other one, and it's getting ready to go to uh, flower. That way it can start spreading seed all over the place. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nothing better than spreading seed. Uh, let's see. we got more Malabar starting to get big, starting to take off a little bit there. Look at that guy. And if you don't know what Malabar is, it's a vining spinach, by the way which is going to be very interesting with that bed over there, this bed right over here. I've got no trellis system set up or anything, so I'm kind of going to, uh, I don't know, let it get as tall as it's going to get. It's going to flop over, and then I'm going to have to kind of direct it to where I've got some trellising and stuff like that, and then it can grow right up. But, I don't know. Hey, it's an experiment, man. We'll just see what happens uh, when it happens, right? Sure. Uh, more Malabar right down there. I don't know what's up with this dead leaf on top of that Malabar. There we go. And more Malabar. I talked about that lettuce. How about, um, yeah, I talked about that guy. Uh, I believe that's cabbage right there. We can have decent. Oh, man. Fingers are actually kind of sticky from the, uh, from, <laughs> from stroking that rosemary over there. My fingers are sticky. Lucky. At least they smell good. Uh, another... Oh, what the heck is that? Can you see that bug right there? That is weird. Ew, what the heck is that other bug? There's two bugs on the same plant. Hang on. Maybe I can zoom in on them a little bit. Very weird looking. Oh, yeah. Focus on that pipe in the background. That's really what we want to see. What the heck, man? But the one there on the top, the blurry image at the top there, that is some kind of bug that, uh, I don't know, kind of looks like a cross between a grasshopper and a spider. Okay, fine. Yeah, you don't want to focus. I get it. We'll just stick this camera right up in their face then. There we go. It's kind of like a cross between a spider and a grasshopper. Very weird. This one on the side kind of looks like, uh, I don't know what the heck it looks like. Kind of like a firefly, but different. I don't know what kind of freaking bug that is, but the way they've got that leaf hopper uh, back legs there and that goofy antenna make me think that it's a bad bug. So, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, there we go. Okay, there's no more bug there. All right, moving on. Um, oh yeah, my collection station right here, all my cups and stuff, the ones with the holes, the ones without the holes. Um, I've just been keeping them here in the corner. Why? Because nothing's growing there. So, yeah, beds have been really light this year. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I should have planted more seed. Um, weed. Look at the root structure on that thing. Bye-bye. Um, but anyway, yeah, more Malabar. See? Promised, man. Malabar in every bed. And then we've got this dead rosemary here. I didn't pull it because it was so close. You can see there the lettuce is actually growing right out of where the uh, rosemary is. So I didn't want to pull that. I should, probably should have just snipped it right there. That way I wouldn't have to worry about it. Didn't do that, so there it remains. Over here, you can tell what happened over here. Look at that. Oh, we got two, two, five, seven, nine. I don't know, it's like eight or nine right here, all of my fingers uh, of indigo rose tomatoes. And how did they get all clumped like that? Well, easy. Uh, every time I'm growing, uh, uh, well, tomatoes in general, I like to make one sacrifice per plant, or, well, per bed, really, and uh, just drop one of the pep or the peppers, one of the tomatoes, and just let it go right into the bed. 
and you have volunteers that pop up the next year. That's what happened right here. That's why they're so close together. The fun thing is, I don't think I'm going to do it, but the fun thing is, uh, this is aquaponics. It's growing in stone, and all you have to do is like move them around a little bit. I could pull all of those guys right up and plant them individually, which I probably should do. Probably not going to do, but I should. Um, and that way they would have their own space and stuff like that, and they could grow big. There is another one hanging out right behind there. Oh, yeah. And these are... Yeah, everything in this entire garden is all volunteers. They all came from seed uh, from last year. I don't see... Oh, look, I'm on this side now. There's a fish way over there now. How come no fish is over here? Oh, well. Um, over here... Jeez, oh, man, what the heck happened over here? We've got tall lettuce look at that stuff man and it's all going to seed so we should have a nice crop next year look we already have new crops popping up i can't believe this thing's not bolting already in this uh, heat that we've been having it's been over 100 degrees for like weeks now but yeah oh look at that freaking snail Dang snail there we go toss that thing the heck out of here um, let me part the uh, sea of lettuce here. Get back in there. We've got some broccoli, and yes, it's getting ravished just like all the others. Um, is it broccoli? Yeah, it's broccoli. Um, yep, there was some kind of like leaf hopper looking thing right over here. Uh, missed it. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's a pile of this stuff, but who knows what's gonna happen. It's just gonna die, I guess. Here's, hey, look at that. We've got a baby broccoli right down here. That's broccoli. I can tell that just by the way it looks. Um, I can't tell the other things, but I can tell most. But I can't tell some of them, but all of them I can tell. Um, this guy right over here, another uh, Malabar. Looking great. More Malabar over here. All over by the Bell Siphon. What's a Bell Siphon? That would be this Bell Siphon. That's what makes it drain. Um... If you want to know more about that, just check it out on YouTube. There's people that made way better videos than me. More Malabar right there. We've got, uh, what do we got there? A little broccoli. No, that looks like cabbage right there. Broccoli in the background. More Malabar right over there. This bed is just like a sea of growth here. Just like right over here. Look at this. Malabar all starting to take off. Let me part these freaking lettuces. Look, this lettuce is like trellising itself. Um, more broccoli back here. Actually, that looks, like, looks like cabbage, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like cabbage. But uh, better than that, indigo rose tomatoes. Look at that. All pretty little guys. Stand up nice and tall. Hopefully, we're going to get some of them. Uh, you can see them better right over here. Bunch of them. Same thing. Dropped one uh, tomato there, and the seed had enough, se or the uh, tomato had enough seeds in it. They all pop from the same area. Probably should modify that method a little bit, but what the heck, man. I got tomatoes. That's all I care about. More Malabar right back there. Right down here by all my parts. Got more Malabar hanging out right there. Mainly because there's a leak on the filter over here. And it's going from, like, under there. Ugh. Ah, gross. There's the wind. Heck yeah. Alright, well that's the wind. Oh yeah, you want to see something fun? How about this? I've got this uh, bucket sitting over here. And because I don't have a side on the greenhouse here, sideways rain kind of comes in. And I can't really see it, I don't believe. Sorry, I thought I had a tick on me. Um, what the heck? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I was about to say, holy cow, there's another one. Look at this little tiny gr um, frog. Uh, does not want to focus. Come on, man. All right, well, right there is like one of the tiniest frogs I've ever seen. You can see it now. It's right there. And right over here. That little dot right there, right above the water line, that's another little tiny frog. But what I was going to say is in this bucket, I haven't seen this in quite a long time. I'm sure if I wandered through the ponds uh, behind my house, I could find it. But um, there are tadpoles in this uh, bucket, so I did not dump it over. 
So hopefully uh, the tadpoles like to eat mosquitoes, and if they do, sweet. Um, I never checked the water reservoir here. Maybe it's got some uh, tadpoles in it too. I don't know. Anyway, that's enough from me. Enough babbling going on. Smacking the camera off of some of the trellising. All right, well, back over here at the front. So that must mean it's the end of the video. So thanks for hanging out with me, checking out what's growing on inside the greenhouse here in the hot tub aquaponic garden. Um, as always, I ask everybody to hop into the comments section, uh, help grow the community, uh, leave a comment, not just for me, I love all the comments, but for everybody else, that way they can find your channel if you make YouTube videos, and maybe you can find their channel, you guys can uh, subscribe up to each other, make this uh, so social media experiment go a little quicker, and uh, yeah, we can uh, find each other by doing what I said a couple times. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new. Make sure you hit that bell. That way you can get notifications for when we go live. Uh, usually we're going live. Might, I don't know, might have had exceptions this past weekend. Oh, and the weekend before. But uh, if you hit that bell, it'll give you notifications of when uh, I go live on my channel. Um, normally it's Monday and Friday, but... You never know when I might do a special little video here and there, which probably already happened. But anyway, uh, also, we got the Mystery Amazon link down below. Make sure you check that out. Uh, I get credit for driving them traffic. Uh, I don't know how it works. Still, I've never seen anything out of that. Maybe we will in the future. But, uh, yeah, do that. Do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. I will catch y'all in the next video where I will be doing something. Might be to my truck. Might be to something else. I've got a bunch of videos planned, so... Might want to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, it's enough for me. I will catch y'all in the next video. Till then. Later on.